Okay guys, we finally made it to the floor in the bathroom. So we got some quarter inch hardy backer board for the to lay the tile on. We got the tiles or the we got those stones that are ground down into tiles. We got the thin set, so we're gonna move the door out, move the toilet out, get the backer board down and uh, see if we can get this tile today. Okay guys, when you're living in a bus and doing a conversion at the same time, life gets a little interesting. So we're kind of staging everything back here in the bedroom for now, but we do have the toilet out. We have the door down and here's the rocks that we're gonna lay. So when I put the toilet in here, I knew we were gonna be adding subfloor and or the backer board and the tile. So I left this, uh, in fact, I'm never going to actually glue that HEPFO on there. It's just a friction fit because it's not pressurized and it doesn't leak. But I also left slack in this down below and it goes into a rubber connector. So all I got to do is go below and unhook it from that connector and I can put the backer board and drill the hole and then put it back through. Okay guys, oh it's chilly out here, you can see I got that all prepped up, all I gotta do is take this screw loose, I should be able to go up in the bathroom and just pull that pipe up out of there now, that's been my plan for that the whole time, so. Okay guys, let's see if I can get this up out of here now, this should just. I think I'd go stuff a rag in that because that's let the stinky in. <laughs> well, I chipped, I chipped one little corner getting it off in there, but... <laughs> it was kind of a tight fit. But anyways, I got, I got my gap all the way around it. I got gap around this and there's gap under there. It's a little tight there, but I got plenty of gap here. Oh, mm -hmm. I can just bring it back this way. There we there go. We go. Just center there's, it between those two. There's where our little chip is, but that's a minor, minor thing. Hey, what's really cool about this stuff is the screw holes are pre-marked out for you if you look in here. See that little spot there? They got the, the screw holes along the edges and across the board. They got them recessed in for you. So all you got to do is use these self-tapping screws that will bury themselves. Nice. And just screw them down until they're... Okay. I'm thinking if we dry fit these, we can get an idea of how it's going to work. Yeah, I think so too. But you're going to have to take them out of the wrapper. Right. So uh, why don't I start kind of dry fitting them and then you finish making that piece right yeah. there. And then we'll just go from there. I don't think we have to saw any of them. I mean, we have the diamond, diamond sauce up in the garage at Dad's. Well, but and, I think... And, we, we just cut them loose of that mat. Yeah, we can pull them off of the mat if we have to, to fill in some gaps and stuff. I think that's so. what they would do, use one piece as a sacrificial yeah. floor. Yeah, I don't know. It's, this it's, is new to us, you Yeah, this is totally new. We've never done anything like this, so, um, but we're up for the challenge, right? We're going to get it done. Yeah, it's going to be fun. What? Huh? This what? looks cool. That's a nice, you can't even tell where the... Where it comes apart, see? It just kind of nestles up in there if you push it. I think, yeah, do those rocks, they do touch each other in yeah. places. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, she's on it, YouTube. She's been looking forward to floor <laughs> coverings because she sees that that's the last thing. And What? I said, this one is really pretty. I was gonna go back here, but he's real shiny naturally. So I almost want to have him out here on the main part of the floor. So I might have to rethink my location for him so we can see him. That's what's going to be hard. I'm like, I'm going to be going. Ooh, I like that rock. I want to see it. I don't know, YouTube. What do you do? You pull rocks off of one tile and just fill in those I, barren areas? Or would you? I think that's what you do. I think so. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Maybe in here you can cut the strip that would nestle up in there. 
Okay, here's the scenario. I see you're trimming in a way to get your fit. Yeah. I'll run up to Dad's and get the diamond saw out of the garage. Okay. That and sounds... Then, yeah. If there's little rocks you need to trim, then... We can kind of go from there, huh? We can trim some for fill-ins if we have to. So you're going to dry fit the whole thing? Is that... I think we need to. Okay. Well, there it is so far, YouTube. Oh, you got a cardboard over your hole. Wow, that's going to look really awesome. It's going to look very cool. I'm really excited. So, yeah, so I trim and then come back in and see if we can slide up under. <laughs> what else I need? Oh, yeah, I still got to take quite a bit off. So, mm, this is not how to do it, YouTube. We do not know what <laughs> Oh, yeah. And then we'll have to put a, something in there. So We do not know what we're doing, YouTube. But we're having fun. <laughs> <laughs> right? We have totally never done anything like this before. But that's what's, exci Ooh, that's what's exciting about the bus life. You can try new stuff. Okay, YouTube. Check it out. I just went running for the... I went and got the diamond saw. Anyways, we hardly even need it. We need a few pieces up there. Dude, this is awesome. Yeah, this, I'm gonna leave more off. This was, this was like so much fun. Um, down at the end, it's kind of pieced in in a couple sections, but it was like putting a jigsaw puzzle together. It was, I haven't had so much fun in a while. This was, this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed well, this. I bet you'll really enjoy putting the thin set down there and gluing those back in place then, right? I can do that. Yeah, why then not? Then it'll be entirely a <laughs> shelly floor. I love it. I love it. I love it. Wow. It's impressive. I'll cut one more box open or one more sheet open and we'll focus in on that corner and then we'll just, we'll go from there. You may have got it too prematurely. I don't know. <laughs> well, we have to cut out where the hole is. Right. We have to we trim definitely, those. So yeah. You can't even see the hole anymore, yeah, but it's right, 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 there. right in there. You can there. see it right there. Okay, guys, after I meticulously place those, we've pulled the two rows up. And I've got him sitting back here. All right, guys, the first row is in. We're gonna put him in and then pull the next row and so we can keep him in order. And she knows how they go back in there. So I think this is gonna happen pretty quickly, actually. Yeah, until we get back here, that might be a little bit more challenging. Maybe we can tape, you know, stick them, pick them up with tape. Okay, this one's going in around our hole for the composting toilet. The little guys cleared the compost hole. So that's all good. The rest of that I'll just get filled in with mortar. I mean with grout. Wow, baby, I'm impressed. That's good. Oh, this one goes here. And this one goes down there. And just gently pat them down into that cement. There you go. Probably some name for this and that we got the wrong tool, but I think it's achieving the same effect getting it packed down in there. Okay. Now take your pad, honey, and pat them all down. Keep 
your fingers crossed. They're gonna all fit back in here. <laughs> like it was meant to be, baby. You know what? That's pretty darn good for putting them back in the same place. Don't you think? I think it looks fantastic, huh? Something totally new for us, that's for sure. Well, so now we've got to let this set, but you know what the most challenging part now YouTube is? I am so grateful we have a back door because now we have to let this set and we can't walk on it. So if we have to go to the bathroom tonight, we'll have to go outside and in through the back door because we're gonna put the composting toilet in the bedroom for the night. <laughs> Okay guys, here's the situation. <laughs> As we continue to build along, we got the floor in and it looks awesome. We're ready to grout it. But we barely cleared that pantry drawer over the tile, which I had picked up, but I didn't pick it up. I mean, technically it didn't drag till it got all the way out, but that's too close for us because we know there might be a little bit of wear and settling. Anyhow, since we added the side to the battery bank cover, um, we couldn't get the bottom pantry out without taking the middle pantry out. But we could still get it out. It was tight, but look what happened to the back bedroom now. So the so. negative part of living in the bus while we're working on it. Yeah, we got all that stuff. It's pulled back here. Plus the toilet's back here for temporary. <laughs> And plus all this stuff out of the pantry but we got the drawer out we got the pantry thing out so yeah. now we'll trim it down and I'm gonna move the slide down so we have more clearance and uh, everything is beautiful oh here's an update YouTube holy mackerel we didn't even get maybe half of it we thought we bought enough extra grout that we could have we would take one back and we only made half of it. But it's looking great. But because it's these little pebbles, they it's take a whole bunch. We should have bought the bigger jug. Now we're gonna have to pay the balancing fee. <laughs> okay guys, um, we grouted yesterday and let this set for 24 hours. And um, I have to say, it just, it came out amazingly. We're so pleased with the outcome. Um, I love the natural look of the rocks and yeah so now we're ready to start putting the bathroom back together okay guys we're getting ready to put our toilet back in okay here's a tip for you <laughs> these go under the toilet they don't go like that I had them sticking outside the first time <laughs> like if you look underneath the toilet there's a recess for these to fit underneath what I've been worried about was how we're going to get the hole through there but I went and got this diamond hole saw. I think I can drill through this fairly easily if I started at an angle I already started it a little bit. Okay guys the moment of truth. She's sliding right back down in. The brackets go underneath the right way this time. Yeah, Randy got it on there too quick. I couldn't show you what the brackets look like, but we were able to drill right through the, the rocks and grout and got it fastened back. We have our potty back. And I am so grateful to have my bathroom back. So um, anyway, just know we love sharing the journey with you guys. And um, you never know what's around the corner. <laughs> So um, we will just catch you guys in the next one and love to you all. Bye.